unfortunately can't just bust through the door, of course. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm still hidden here. But I can't like highlight anything. There's a lot of enemies here. Of course not. Okay. Wait, I forgot to rest. Oh, for God's sake. I'll pick this up and then I'll go and rest. Ooh. That was a very good time to go and rest. <laughs> So, I can take that to Emma and then get a second healing gold, correct? Nice. Okay. So, things are starting to open up a little here. Kill two birds with one stone. Let's head back to the temple. She's trying to help uh, the sculptor. What are you doing? Oh, you're right.流害の調べのため物質殿が吐いた血の塊をいただいていたのです。血の塊。はい。石と共に出たものです。血の色がわずかに淀んでいるような。しかし、これだけではさだかには。できることはあるか。流害にかかったものが吐いた血の塊。それがもっとあれば、より詳しい調べをできます。流害にかかったものがいれば、当たってみよう。お願いします。Okay, she can still do this, I think. ひょうたんの種とはこれか。はい。それをこちらに種をひょうたんに植え付けます。よし。Excellent. Excellent.妙な薬だ。妙ですか。うん。悪い気はしません。貢献があれば君をと思うことでも遺産ですべし。それが我が氏道元の教えですので。そうか。氷炭の種を見つけたならば。また持ってきてください。薬水のかさ増しをしましょう。では。Can cool. I speak to the old man? お前さんも来たのか。賑やかな。こって。Yeah, poor guy. Sorry, I know it's all my fault. Everyone's dying around here. Um, I'll try not to die too much more, but... <laughs> Let's head back to here. I think that percentage is going to continue to come down. Should be unstoppable now with my two healing gourds. Okay. Let's begin. I don't know if I can take this guy out without anyone else knowing, but I think it's worth a shot. As I say, they've been pretty lenient with that kind of thing. Whereas, like, you'd think in a FromSoft game, if you were to kill someone in this scenario, like, 
Oh, really? They end up walking right at me. Okay, here's take two of this particular bit. I got seen literally by the first guard. They they walk right through uh, this stuff here, so I thought I had a chance. But I think they want you to do a ledge hang here and then sneak up on that guy. So we're going to give it a go. So he comes round. Basically, I was waiting for him to just continue down the non-grassy path, and then I was just going to try and ambush him, obviously. But he walked straight into the grass and saw me, so <laughs> it did not work so well. So, let's see if this time I can get him. Wait till he's all the way there. Just about, just about. I mean, I feel like if I can clear out enough of this place, I could probably kill that guy too. Get like the, the jump on him. Take one death blow away and then see what I can do. But yeah, they've made this bit particularly difficult to stealth. gonna try I mean it's it's worth a couple of goes here huh that's harsh that's harsh oh land of deflect let's go That's a bit easier. And I see, uh, son of a bitch. Okay. Am I safe again? Okay. Still yellow. And is the big boy there as well, or he just sent the minions along? Damn, even big boy came. But if I can leave him kind of defenseless, that would be nice. I think he's just going to stay there, isn't he? Out, just about. Okay. Just trying to decide if fighting that guy is the best course of action right now, because it, it would. If I die against him, it's going to take me a little while to clear things out again. Um, not crossing that bridge. I assume the path winds round. It's another one of those where you probably don't have to fight him. Okay, what's this? Divine confetti. Confetti imbued with a divine blessing made for driving away apparitions. The paper is made ceremoniously whereby pulp is spread thin using water from the exalted fountainhead. As the gods bless the water, so too will the confetti bless one who basks in his touch, allowing attacks to connect with apparition-type enemies. Hmm. Okay, well, I would have to assume we're going to meet one soon. Turn back if you value your, li your life. You can't behead the headless. Our swords and pikes did nothing. Hmm. I think... That's another different pathway. Just wondering if I'm going to get ambushed by one. I might just honestly pop it. <laughs> just in case. I don't know how long it lasts, but I 
maybe it's worth it. Damn, the way it... Oh, the blade looks so cool with it, though. Now. Oh, shit. This guy, I have to land the first... thing here. Gotta be quick. Come on. Oh, no. Damn it. I did a decent amount of damage, though, so I think I could do it. Let's just see if I can get out of here. And then kind of... Like, stealth again, basically. I just really don't want him to kill me and then I have to deal with his minions again. Holy... Shit. There's my answer. Oh, man. There's got to be a way. Like, this area is so big. The, the idea that he tracks me through this entire place seems silly. I could always go back here, I think. And then as long as I don't reset... Basically, I've got to take that first um, freebie. I'm just not good enough to take these guys straight up and just get both of the death blows. It's a bit, it's a bit much. Okay. He's kind of stuck there, though. set him on fire. Ugh, I did set him on fire. getting grabbed here. Oh no. Come on. Oh. Yes. Woo. Just about. There we go. Okay. Very nice. <sighs> yeah, but that's what I mean, though. Like, if I, if I didn't take away his first uh, death blow thing for free, then I would, I would have had a problem. <laughs> okay. So, where do I want to go from here? I want to obviously get across here. Uh, okay. Ah, I assume that's the part. I think we keep going. There isn't anything to particularly do right now. Bit of a change of scene here. Yeah, 
can already establish that one. Yeah, I guess finding the, the estate thing helped. Oh my god. <laughs> what? What? Look at this thing. The size of it. Jormungandr. Holy crap. So it kind of flexed for us and then it carried on its way. But it's enormous. Okay. Stealth it up. Stealth it up. Stealth the shit out of this section. I mean, if this isn't a one-hit KO, I don't know what is, so we be incredibly careful. That's terrifying. Now, from here, we have to try and make a... Jump for it! I would say that was pretty well. Whoa! You just knew it was one of those where as soon as you went in and you thought you were safe, it was probably going to shoot off after you. And it's back. Can we pet the, pet the snake? Let's give it a little tap on the head. It's absolutely enormous. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's pretty lenient. Maybe we're just so tiny that it doesn't actually care that much about us. Okay, so it's, I'm just trying to see if, it, if this is like a path almost. So once it comes over this side, then maybe it gives me an opportunity to go around. Panicked. It throws me back here. That's interesting. That is interesting. That's quite a long way back. I don't know if the snake's kind of back here or is waiting inside again now. I think it's waiting inside. It's probably good for me. again. I think I was doing the right thing, but I kind of panicked. So as soon as it disappears around the side, I have to kind of... I thought there was a ledge there to hold. Yeah, snake's just making me panic. <laughs> but thankfully, I'm, that is how you get past it. I just need to execute it properly. And again, God bless this game for not giving you the, um, the four deaths. I really do appreciate that. Right, here we go. One more time. I think maybe next time, honestly, once I'm over there, I might hide in the grass patch, just so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm literally going to wait here. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm hoping it's going to go forwards again and give me a nice big window of time to kind of shimmy across. Oh my god. Yeah, I think this is his new like default position. Just chilling here now. It knows. It knows things. 
knows there's a sneaky little shit here trying to get past. Yeah, they want to make this bit as intense as possible, so... I want the snake nearby. Oh, I see. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, I see. Wow. I'm not gonna revel in the glory here. I'm gonna get the hell out. We might come back. I don't think we've done it yet. Get the hell out of there. Yeah, I can hear some stuff. <laughs> Again, same thing. Probably even in here, you would have got killed. <sighs> Intense. Alright. I think we're safe. But really nice little kind of test of the traversal stuff as well. A different type of challenge. Doesn't always have to be about swords and blades clashing. Yes, we have a much needed idol here. Gachin sugar. We need to have a look at that. I was so excited to just finally be able to do this. Um, suppress the sound of presence, making the user harder to detect. Okay. I think for now, like I'm trying to save as much as I can for like boss battle situations. And I got these uh, foam wart seeds that make a loud noise if you snap them. Useful for breaking the effect of illusion techniques. If an illusion occurs, it's because someone created it. To crush the phantoms and return to reality, one must defeat the creator of the illusion. Snap seeds can be of great help in that regard. Okay. We're starting to get some funkier stuff. We've got like apparition enemy stuff. We've got um, illusions. So... Yeah, the giant snake. So the game's expanding out in terms of what it's offering as well. Again, it's not just, you know, bladed enemy after bladed enemy after bladed enemy. There's, there's stuff happening here. I don't even know who that was. I'm going to rest to avoid it. And so they're, they're starting to, to show signs of variety as well, which I think is really cool. Right. Let's have a look at this place. Hmm. Yeah, it sounds like the next boss. Honestly, maybe I might come in from that side. We can carry on along here. Keep things quiet. Damn, I feel bad for this guy, but maybe he can join his horse in uh, the afterlife. Because he sure as hell would not have had mercy on me. see Whoop. that's the kind of thing I mean like that's where I'm like surprised where I hadn't been seen yet there's a tree mate okay well you gotta at least respect the tree <laughs> like you should have seen me when I was out in the open which was fair but not when I'm behind a tree okay, the, the game seems to not realize that this tree exists fair enough but thankfully, uh, bow and arrow slash projectile guys, they're not as big of a problem. Okay. Um, let's see. I have full health, I have two gourds, but I have a lot of people to take out here, potentially. 
So we kind of got seen while we were doing that, but it's not too big of a problem. It's only, honestly only the music that made it a bit annoying. I'm assuming though that surely they're going to leave me alone now. There go. But yeah, this whole idea of like Ginichiro wanting the power as well and wanting it to protect Ashina, that's also obviously interesting, but... Kuro refuses to, to help him. For now. Let's see if that changes later. Okay. This could be very, very, very dangerous. This guy is faster, so I kind of want to let him get a safe distance away. I think he might be now. Nice. No spear action for you. I swear I already got that. Still okay. I need to take this guy out from here. I think there's only three left now. No, there's more than three. So far, so good. I think there might actually only be three left. We can practice our spear skills a little here. With this. And let's see if we can get a spear stomp. Nice. Okay. Doing okay for now. Nice. Okay. So I think we cleared this bit out. This might be <laughs> where we get rolling. Mm. 